Now that we've checked over the data and made sure there aren't any data quality issues, let's fit our linear model for the one repeated factor. We'll use again, analyze, fit model. Now like before, we're going to put rating as our Y, that's our response, and I'll change the emphasis again to minimal report. Next, we're going to set up our model effects section. Now I'm actually going to bring in the model that we're trying to fit. So we're trying to fit our one factor linear model for repeated measurements, and we have two model terms that we need to put in this model effects section. One that identifies the rows, that is the subject firms, and one that identifies the treatments. Now, the intercept of the model, the grand mean, will always be a part of our model unless we tell Jump we don't want one. I haven't pointed it out before, but you can actually tell Jump not to fit an intercept. An intercept is this mu dot dot. But we don't want to do that, so don't check that box. An error in our model is just the residual around our model. It's what's left over after we've done all the prediction. So we don't put this in our model effects either, and we never have. So we just need to put in these two terms, which represent in our data set the columns of judge and wine. So let's put each of these in. I'll take them here and click add. Notice we're not fitting an interaction. That error term actually is an interaction. So jump will actually be fitting that error and that interaction for us. So these are the two model terms we need to add to our model, but we're not done yet. Remember, wine and judge are different types of effects. Judge is a random effect and wine is a fixed effect. Now we've been fitting fixed effects all along and that's what Jump will assume these are unless we tell it otherwise. So to designate judge as a random effect, we need to do something special. So what we'll do is click on judge, go down to attributes, click that red triangle and select random effect. This will immediately change things around in Jump. Notice first that judge is appended with and random to identify it as a random factor. We also get a new section called method. Method is the method by which this model is fitting. And what we want is REML, residualized or restricted maximum likelihood estimation. I told you I wouldn't get into the details of the modeling, but I will just say that REML is a computationally intensive procedure. This isn't a closed form solution. There aren't formulas that Jump will be carrying out to fit this model. Instead, it will be iteratively fitting models and converging to a gradient. So this will actually require your computer to iteratively fit parameters to these models to come up with the most likely model given the data. That's maximum likelihood. The other options we have here are things you shouldn't touch until you learn a lot about them. So just leave the rest of the defaults on and our model is actually complete. So now that we have it set up, go ahead and click run and you'll see similar output to what we've seen before, but with some additional sections.